Okay, let's speak some truth now. Let's speak some facts. Let's put all this um, BS laid to rest. This ascension, this ascension, this rising to 5D. Oh, get prepared for the big shift, the big ascension. It ain't no ascension that's going on, y'all. That's the lie. It's a transition. We about to go through a transition. Right now, the power is about to be transitioned to the so-called, oh, it ain't the so-called call. The power about to be transitioned to the chosen people. Right now, this ascension is God's chosen people versus the beasts. The ones who want to stay in power. In order to ascend, right? Something has to change. So let's say the ascension. What has to change? Well, the beast has to fall in order for the chosen to ascend up to the top. That's what ascension means, right? So when they say the chosen ones, it's time for ascension. It's time for you to, for a transition. It's time for you to go from the bottom to the top. But you have to take the people out the top down. So what's not being told is this ascension that's about to come, this big awakening. No, what y'all need to be awakening to is the big war that is coming. That's what people don't want to say. It's the big destruction that is coming. Because in order for us to go from the bottom to the top, these people have to fall and nobody is going to fall or just step down from their position. These people in power already know what's going on and that's why they putting themselves or aligning themselves in positions for the war. But people, God's chosen people, a lot of y'all are being taught by the enemy. You are trying to follow this higher ascension thing. I'm about to get my crystals. We about to meditate. We're going to, um, what they say they be doing, um, uh, channeling. they be doing channeling the wind mean channeling stuff or whatnot who are you channeling it's only one most high are we channeling the aliens no they channeling demons i don't know what they on but that's they're giving you fake knowledge they are the enemy god's chosen people is a bloodline thing you have to have it by the blood and you gonna look a certain way because it's a bloodline thing if they don't look like you trust me they are not part of the chosen they don't have that nine ether. They don't have the coils. They don't have the serpent wisdom. Serpent knowledge. It's not even much in their DNA. When you have it, it's all in your DNA. I have my hair wall like this for a reason. I wear my hair like this because this makes us stand out. This is how we're supposed to look. How many people can walk around looking like this? This is no hairstyle in my hair. These are the coils. These are the serpents. This is what Medusa had in her house. These are the snakes right here. That is the serpent wisdom. This is what you wear your stuff and you connect to the um, sun. Go look at old antennas. When you go look at old antennas, they call you. Just like the house. Because we are connected. That's why they always want us to cut our house. Once you women to perm your house or put that um, fucking fake ass plastic size dead hair or wig on your head they want you to cut yourself off because you are God's chosen people they want you to be on a fake ascension thinking that you are going to be extending with them but no they are lowering your vibration because you, they have you chasing or looking at the wrong ascension in the wrong way your ascension is us coming from the bottom to the top we at the bottom they took over or we failed Let's say that, and they took over. God's chosen people. God's chosen people have been enslaved. Where does this 144,000 concept come from? A lot of y'all be like, oh, I don't want to believe in the Bible because um, the Bible be contradicting itself and this and that. But you over there studying some Egyptology. But no one that looks like you melanated so-called people are the ones who so-called translated the artifacts found in Egypt. You are still reading something that the so-called white man has told you. Do you know how to read hieroglyphs? Are you over there 
doing doing that act back. Um, I'm not even about to try to say the word. I'm talking to tongue twister now. Well, are you over there when they digging up all the artifacts and seeing what's really out there? No, you're not over there. You don't know what's what. How are they going to say, oh, Horus, the story of Horus gone before Jesus. Let me give you a concept. Let me show you how to think outside the box. Egyptology, those books, let's say they 200 years old in present day. What we know about Egypt because they had to rediscover it and then they had to decipher it and all that stuff. So let's say the oldest books is 200 years. It's less than 200, but I'm going to give it 200 because I ain't got the exact time right now. So I will give it 200. But guess what? With that 200 years, since um, white folks gave us the Bible and slavery, which is a big lie, um, they actually took the book away in slavery and they have a slave Bible look it up and they have strictly what a slave bible was they took our book who books up the bible and made strictly a slave bible but um the bible which talks about egypt and everything else be 400 years ago it was talking about egypt and talking about the birth of christ and everything else but only 200 years later is when you start hearing about egypt how do you know that um these people who so-called decipher the hieroglyphs didn't just take stories from the Bible and be like, oh, this is where the Bible get its story from or its origin from. You don't know that because you don't know how to read the hieroglyphs on that wall. So you don't know what it's saying. You're going off something that the motherfucking white man told you, the AKA beast, the one who's telling you that we need to come together, get your magic crystals and your, um, all the indigo children, all the um, star seeds, the rainbow children, and we're just going to come and we're gonna, gonna just going to meditate and we're just going to think of peace, 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 and it's going to automatically come here. We just have to think about it, y'all. You are chosen to come here and just think about peace and peace is going to manifest itself in your life and in our life and the world is going to be a peaceful place and everything that our ancestors have done to you and your people is just going to be washed away like it has never happened. Yes, yes, come sit around with me and we're going to hit this bell and we're going to sit in a circle and we're going to um, sing Kumbaya and we're going to fucking play bluegrass music and we're going to do all this bullshit that's going to keep you blind so you don't get ready for this fucking war that's going to come up upon um, your people because we try to take your people down and I'm here to stab the first fucking knife in the back of your people because you're thinking it's all peace man fucking fools if you think that's what this ascension is this ascension is a transition man we got a wall coming up and so called melanated people mean black people man Wake up. Stop looking at all this celebrity gossip shit. That's why they have us over there chasing the bag. And I don't need no man. And fuck. All the other nonsense. Man, I almost want to even try to think of the nonsense because I don't like to even dwell in that shit or bathe in that shit. But, um, bro, wake up, man. This ascension thing is not about this fake wake up 5D. We're going to 5D. No. We're going to war. Before anything changes, we're going to war first. They have robots ready to go to war. You already been replaced. You already, they already set everything up. There's no place for you in the future. No jobs for you in the future. No food for you in the future. You, your, your ancestors um, ran from the country and ran into the city and sold the country land. You have no land anymore. You live in a fucking apartment somewhere. And you live off of fucking welfare, government assistance. You are enslaved. You are already in the concentration camp. What are you doing to make yourself independent? Huh? You are already in the concentration camp. Don't you understand that? You are already in chains. Some of y'all in your so-called gated community, you're just in a, a fancy concentration camp. The war been in place. And they got you surrounded in these cities. Where you depend on them to bring you your food. Which means they can put anything in your food. So if they want to go to war with you, all they got to do is poison the food. That's it. You're going to die. Or don't bring it in. You're going to die from starvation. And then if you eat the shit, you're going to die because they starve you. How can you go to war when you're not even much prepared to even go to war with these motherfuckers? You need to wake up and get back to the most high as God chosen people.
we are the children of Israel. That's what our ascension is. That's where our power gun comes from. Because they already set up in a position that we cannot win on this worldly power. We have to win on the spiritual power. Which is why they want you to follow the fake illusion of this fake ascension with these fucking crystals. And calling out and um, channeling fucking aliens, which is fucking demons. No. Our power comes from the Most High. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob got his name turned to Israel. And we are the children of Israel, which is 12 tribes. So when they talk about them 12 tribes, and I asked earlier in the video about the 144,000, the 144,000 come out that book, the Bible. Without that book, you would not be speaking of 144,000 chosen people. And that come from 12,000 people from each tribe, from the 12 tribes of Israel. It is a bloodline thing. And if you ain't got the blood, you ain't chosen. And if you got the blood, stop following these people who um don't want you to know the fucking truth about what your blood really represented, what your ascension really represented. Because if you don't never come back to the most high, you ain't gonna get your powers. You ain't gonna get that new body. Yeah, all oh, that's true. And all oh, that's biblical. We are gonna get our new bodies. We're going to take off this immortal and put on this corruptible and put on the incorruptible. This mortal and put on the immortal. We are going to have the uh, powers that when we fall up on a spoil, it's not going to wound us, kill us, or do anything. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. So all they weapons, all they bombs, all they goddamn robots they have in place. Once we come back to the spirit of the Most High and come under that union, man, we are the heroes. See how this work? I'm getting juicy now. All the motherfucking trucks want to pass by and make all that noise. No, we are the heroes. We are X-Men. You see how they X'd us out? But we are the men. Because we the ones who are going to take the beast down. You the hero. You Superman. That S on his chest. What that S chair for? That's the coils. Serpent wisdom. Serpent knowledge. You want another Jew? Go look at the original Superman. It was a snake. So even when you want to talk about Egypt or whatnot, when you go look at the Bible, we was over there. Joseph was second in command, which was on one of the sons of Jacob, which name was turned to Israel. And Joseph was living in Egypt. We was living in Egypt. If you go look when the Pharaohs, the, the Egyptians, you want to know the difference between us and um on the Egyptians in Egypt, go look at us, we had dreadlocks and we had beards. The Egyptians had to put on a fake hat to look like our dreadlocks and had the little fake beard to try to, to uh, imitate our look. We bought our culture and our knowledge there. Just like we do around the whole world. We the so-called in America, right? We the ones who the slaves, we're at the bottom. But what culture do America follow? They follow our culture. So-called hip-hop or urban culture or whatever. And now guess what? The whole world follow our culture. Well, the same thing how they, the world following our culture, even though it's, this is not our kingdom, that's the same thing it was in Egypt. So when you even go look on those pyramids, that don't mean that that was the Egyptian cultures. Just like if you go on... 200 years from now when people look at the present day America that we living in this not, not real European culture they adopted our culture our ways they talking our slang they trying to be like us plastic surgery getting these four lips getting this fake ass they trying to look like us so no matter what some of the stuff look like in the past that don't mean that the people who was living there it, it was actually their culture it could have been somebody who was in their culture culture you go down to New Orleans. I'm from Louisiana, Baton Rouge. But before Katrina, you go down to New, um, to New Orleans, you can get a little taste right now. But for you ones who are a little older, before Katrina, you got a real taste of New Orleans. You got the kids out there tap dancing. You got the real second line. But what color were they? It was the melanated people out there doing that. That's what gave the culture of New Orleans that had the tours going down there getting that taste. After Katrina, New Orleans has never had that culture back like that. It has never been the same. You might see a little fake second line with some um, non-melanated people, but it's not a second line. They're not down there really dun mm 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 -mm 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 -mm. You know what I'm saying? They're not getting down. Y'all, they not, they, you don't see the little children out there really tap dancing like they do, used to do, and playing on the buckets with the drums and all that. That was the culture. Block parties. 
So even when them tours came there, they came there for the culture of melanated people, not New Orleans per se, the so-called non-melanated people culture, because they ain't got none. So people take our culture as God's chosen people because we are the ones who are supposed to lead by example. So if we've set a bad example for the world, the world's gonna follow in that, which is what they're doing right now. We started the um, single motherhood, I don't need no man. Now look at these other races. So-called white women doing it, the so-called Asian women. You come to America, all these women leaving their man now. They strong, independent, don't need no man. Whatever we do, it, it spreads. So if we come become righteous and live in a righteous way, righteousness is going to spread. And that's what this ascension is about, us rising up to our righteous self as God's chosen people and let it spread. Because this war that's coming, only the righteous and the strong are going to survive. And the ones who choose to stay on our side will survive. And the ones who go to war 